Welcome everyone on the channel Thomas Retells and today we will take a look at the story of 1989 American martial arts film called Best of the Best. Let's go! This story is about the US national karate team. In 1989 it was invited to compete in an international taekwondo tournament. In the finals of the tournament the national team faced the South Korean fighters. This picture was based on real events of those times and the experience of Master Phil Ri. The picture greets us with a scene where Alex Grady, a loving father who has lost his wife and, most importantly, a veteran sportsman, teaches his baby to ride a bicycle. The scene changes quickly. Here we are in a martial arts training room, where a martial arts teacher Tommy Lee is coaching and mentoring young children in martial arts and relationships. Right during the lesson, Tommy receives a letter inviting him to participate in a competition to select the best athletes for the US karate team. Alex also received this invitation in a letter and then told his mother about it. She is concerned that Alex will participate in the competition because she doesn't want to aggravate his injuries. Alex, on the other hand, reports that his shoulder has already healed and there is nothing to worry about, adding that he is only interested in martial arts as a sport. After consulting with his son and asking his permission, Walter gives him the opportunity making only one condition. Our hero must come out of there victorious and give his medal to him. While America only sent out invitations to their fighters, the South Koreans were in the midst of a competition. And based on their results, they selected five fighters who will fight for the victory in the tournament against the United States. Immediately after qualifying for the tournament, they put two main characters in the iron lineup, Alex and Tommy. Lee is the best of his lineup, in addition to being a master of Taekwondo. It is on Taekwondo that the international tournament with Korea will take place. Management was hesitant to bring Alex to the team because everyone knew very well about his shoulder injury. There were three more slots on the team. They were taken by Sonny Grasso, the Italian fighter. Travis Brickley, a fierce, aggressive and unyielding fighter. And the closing five, the kindest, humblest and calmest buddhist, Virgil Keller. In the dressing room, Casa told his new team the rules of the karate team, told them main tasks and goals. They were to become one team and take this championship. He warned the fighters that for the next three months, the entire five would be under his control. They aren't allowed to drink, walk with women or even go out on the town. Training, and only training. But Kuza allowed the last day to be at the fighters' discretion, telling them to relax properly. The guys went to a bar to relax. They all naturally drank hurriedly, for they wouldn't have such an opportunity for three months at a time. While the guys were dancing, Alex went out to call his son. Travis started lightly hitting on the girl while dancing, which caused the locals at the bar to get nervous and start a fight. As soon as Alex go off the phone, he ran into a fight, while all this time their teacher was sitting behind the bar watching their behavior. At one point he interrupted all the fighting and sent everyone to their rooms. The team started training. It wasn't easy for Kuzo, but he got the meditation and yoga coach. The coach in the gym showed his fighters the national team uniform, telling them they wouldn't see it until they learned how to be one cohesive unit. And so far they are a long way from that. The class started with a meditation run where Catherine taught the team the psychology of fighter. She said that strength alone would keep them from defeating the Korean team. They are raised from the ground up to be highly spiritual and the Americans have a very different approach to training than they do. The lady vows to prepare the fighters to fight dangerous opponents. During the training, Kat taught the fighters how to break bricks with their hands. After all, that's how you decide who wins a fight when the score is tight. The whole company has a meeting where they let him meet their opponents. Tommy sees that he will be opposite in the tournament by none other than Dae Han, South Korean's strongest fighter. A long time ago, Tommy's older brother died in a fight with this Korean. Then another accident happens like a rat. Alex's son, Walter, has a bicycle accident three days before the competition. Alex begs Kuzo to visit his child in the hospital, but the master forbids him to do so. Alex is left with no choice but to quit the team and go see his child. As soon as he sees that his son is okay, he asks to be back on the team, but the teacher is not going to take the fighter back. 
At the same time, Tommy realizes that he is about to face his brother's killer. He is overexcited and overpowered in training, knocking Vigil out. Then everything goes completely sideways and he decides to leave the training base while swearing with Alex who only tried to talk him out of it. Their remaining students are despaired because their strongest fighters are gone. They try to convince the coach to bring their runways back. The coach makes concessions and lets Alex back in. And Tommy manages to deal with his feelings right before he flies out. His return revived the team spirit and the five flew out to the competition on high moral. The event is held in the capital of South Korea, Seoul. The composition that, according to the results of all rounds, will score the most points, will be declared the winner. Also important is the number of knockouts. Before the match, the coach motivates his fighters to win. He is voting for his boys, knowing that their chances are slim to none. The Koreans are undisputed leaders in this tournament. While Alex was warming up, he spotted his son on the fence bench and was very grateful to Kuzo for such a kind gesture. In the beginning, the less powerful fighters fight. From America is Virgil and Sonia. They may lose their fight, but they score points for their team. Sonny's fight was 7-11 in favor of his opponents. Virgil, on the other hand, was wiped out. The score was 9-20 and he only scored two points. The third fighter on the stage is Travis. He breaks the tie where the rules of the tournament require a brick-breaking contest to decide the outcome of the boat. Travis gives the slip and gives the victory to Koreans. The Koreans are already far ahead. The fate of a whole game depends on the rest of Alex and Tommy. If they don't score, the team will fail. Alex is already on the court. He is clearly stronger than the fighters opposite, but he hits Alex's weak spot. The shoulder, injuring the same spot that once hurt Alex and threw him out of the sport. It would seem that the fight should be over and Korean gets the win. But Alex asks for his shoulder to be repaired and instead of giving up continues the fight using only one arm. By some unknown miracle Grady knocks the Korean out of the ring with his second punch. With that he held on the points he had collected and narrowed the difference in the score. Now the weight of victory is on Tommy's shoulders. Will he make history for the United States or will he leave them as a losers? The score is 29-22. The trainer is rooting for his fighter. From the start of the fight, Dae Han immediately shows his advantage. During the break, the trainer is telling the fighter that only a knockout or scoring a point will help them catch up with the Koreans and take the lead. The third round on Dae Han's part was messy. Tommy looks stronger because of the anger, giving hope that he will win. In the final minutes of the round, Tommy almost knocks the Han out, but he struggles to get up. All Tommy has to do is finish him off, and he wins. He remembers the cause of his brother's death and immediately takes up the fight. He tries to kill Han, but his team screams at him not to. He spares the Ferebi giving away his victory, but preserving something more important human life. Kyuzo is proud of his fighter, even though he didn't win. The score is 33-32, so Korea wins. Kyuzo says to Tommy, you're the champ, don't forget that. The gold medal ceremony is underway. They Han on his way to Tommy makes a speech. Sparring your opponent's life at the cost of defeat is to win and to earn a great honor. Your brother was a great fighter too. I'm deeply saddened by the tragedy. And then he hangs a medal around his neck. So does the entire Korean team. Such an honest act is worthy only of real men. America won. Admiration. Credits. This is the end. What do you think of the movie Best of the Best? Share your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.